I'm excited. It's August 22nd, and I believe this came out today. I know I saw it on the website yesterday. It's the Hercules Portable Bandsaw. Basically, maybe in a little upgraded version from the Bauer, which I had before. I got it about a week ago, and they let me upgrade to this. I just had to pay the difference. So today, I'm going to be looking at this, mainly comparing it to the Bauer, because that's what I know, but I also have a Milwaukee I'll throw in there. We're going to don the hipster-looking yellow sunglasses so we stay safe. Before I exchanged the Bauer, I did some tests with it in here and a 30-pound weight on the end just to get consistent pressure. With the same blade cutting this material, this is 0.75 by 0.75, uh, 0.06 thickness, the Hercules is 30% faster, which is interesting because the watt draw on the Hercules is a 725.9 max while cutting, and the Bauer was 749, so very comparable. And then if you were interested as far as noise, the Hercules was 99.2 and the Bauer was 98.6, so pretty much the same noise. Just if anybody is curious to the Milwaukee over there, these, these dull decibel meters were five feet away while cutting. Uh, this was 95.7 from the side, basically to the decibel meter. We got this thing plugged in, out of the box. Let's take a look at it. Compared to the Bauer, cord's a bit longer, eight feet, five inches. You got a bunch, uh, about an extra two feet of cord length. It's a rubberized grip and a little grippier, similar to like the Milwaukee, a little nicer feel. Everything just seems a little bit nicer. Cut capacity remains the same, about five by five. The weight is 0.3 pounds lighter, but as far as size and weight goes, no concernable difference between the two. These bumpers, much larger on the Hercules, cover more of those drums on the side. Moving down the line, we still have the adjustments here, but it goes uh, you know, one to six, and it's got a tactile feedback to it, so you can kind of hear that. Then the trigger uh, feels about the same. It isn't a variable trigger like it is on the Milwaukee and some of the DeWalt's and such. It's mainly an on and off. I don't think that's a big issue though. You got the adjustment here. Moving on, look at this. We got an LED. This LED is quite nice. I don't know if that shines there. It really lights up the workpiece. This handle is larger and is adjustable with a six millimeter Allen key. You can just loosen it like so. Bam. And then you got multiple positions you can put it in. Another thing, the case. Awesome blue. This case is quite a bit bigger. I don't remember the exact size of the power, but this is longer of a case. Good quality. This case measures eight inches by 15 and a quarter by 22 and a quarter. So if anybody wants to know the size, that's about it. Inside the case, as far as what comes with the tool when you get it, really nothing much. You have your Allen key. You got the manual and I don't see any brushes. Brushes did come on the Bauer, so either that's just missing, but I don't see any extra brushes for the motor. Oh, another thing on the front. You got your blade guard. Instead of having a socket head adjustment, this is a uh, no tool required. You basically just push this button in and you got three different heights. It locks in place. That's all the way up. You got a medium and you got all the way down. Quite nice. Looking on the back side, well, I have, a, I have one of the dust covers off already. They just pop off, just like that. So you go bam, you can pop them off. Bam, pop them off, easy. As far as this goes, we have some upgrades here. These are all Torx screws. On the old Bauer, these were saga head. I don't know if that's really an upgrade, but it is kind of nice. You also have this little brush here that brushes those, uh, those rubber drums, gets the shavings off. That is pretty cool. That's pretty much it. These drums look the same. There's a little bit more design on here, but as far as I know, I can't really tell a difference. Let's move on. Let's do some cutting. Let's actually see how this thing performs. We're going to full on six right now. And it's quick. Super quick. I mean, you saw that. That is fast. Just a comparison, I'm gonna grab my Milwaukee. This is the Milwaukee Fuel Brushless, and it is, uh, has a five amp hour battery, and is ready to go. We're just gonna cut the same thing. I would say pretty comparable. Overall, I think this is an awesome upgrade. It's $50 more, but you definitely get a bunch of improvements. I can't speak for the internals and longevity since I got it today. If the outside is any indications of the internals, I say this thing's gonna be pretty good. I do have a suggestion. If you also, if you pick up the, the bandside guide, which is just awesome, I also recommend you picking up a foot switch for it. That way, 
when you're using this, instead of messing with the trigger, which is kind of strange because it's a universal bandsaw model, you can just plug in the foot switch, come up to it, and crank. You know, you just hit it, crank, and then let go of the foot switch. Foot switch, this bad boy, and this, and you'll be golden. While you're there, might as well try out the, the bimetal cobalt blades because... I mean, longevity we'll see, but they cut fast right now. Those are $15 for a two pack. You know, the Bauer is a very nice tool as well. If you pick it up on sale and you're not gonna use it much, but if you just want that little extra boost, I recommend grabbing the Hercules.